Welcome back, Panther Springs friends. And if you are new here, well, happy Labor Day. I hope you enjoy our three-day weekend. Cause I don't know about you, but it's been a long time coming. Can I get a yes and an amen? Yes, Somebody. amen. Yes and amen. It's been a long time coming. I'm so sorry I couldn't be with you all last week. I had the strep throat, which was not, not so fun. But I did get to catch Pastor Brenda online, and I hope that you did too. I hope that you listened about kindness, and I hope that you listened about peace and understanding, but mostly about peace. You know, boys and girls, as I was thinking about that and listening to the sermon, this image kept going through my mind, okay? We have peace, do I have it in the right place, assistant? Peace, and we have understanding, all right? And I want you to think of this thing that we do called life as a race. And the Apostle Paul talks about that too. He says, forgetting what is behind me, I press forward. And he, he compares himself to an athlete in, in several of those epistles that he writes. So we're thinking of life as a race, okay? And one day we will get to cross the finish line. There will be many hurdles, many obstacles that we have to overcome. So insert hurdle, insert obstacle. And as we are going through this thing called life, we will use our understanding and we will try to find peace. In Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. And then like Pastor Brenda kept telling us last week, Philippians 4, 7, it is the peace of God which transcends all understanding. All right? And then Isaiah 55, 8 through 9 says, because my thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. My ways are higher than your ways. That's why we can't lean on our own understanding. So let's look at this thing called life. All right, we're ready? We're in a race. On your mark, get set, go. Ooh. As we go through, as we go through, we seem like we're doing pretty well with our own understanding. So, oh! understanding crossed hurdle one and we're going along and we're going along but now we got to come over here and he's got to come over here and we got to do the hurdle and we got to do the hurdle but we see that sometimes when we lean on our own understanding we fall and who is the one da, 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 insert chariots of fire that crosses the finish line peace because peace past understanding we can't do it on our own with our understanding. And how do we get the peace of God? That's the million dollar question, right? So think about a battle. Think about a war. When does peace come? After. After a fight, after a struggle, and sometimes after a surrender. I'm waving the white flag. I surrender. Sometimes when we surrender, well, all the time, when we surrender our hearts to God and we are leaning not on our own understanding, that is when we have the peace that passes understanding, okay? And that's part of what the passage today will be about. We are in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, 1 through 11, and I'm going to pick up around verse 3. So I went down to the potter's house, and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as it seemed best to him. Then the word of the Lord came to me, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as the potter does? Are you not the clay in my hand? Do you understand so little that you think you are so much better than I? So I want you to look here. <clears throat> One of the things that Miss D likes to collect in addition to uh, socks and shoes and soap and cheap perfume, 
are these pretty homemade pieces here. These are handmade Kentucky originals of a small place that is closed down now. These are called Bidey Pottery. Okay, and I think one day, assistant, these might be worth a little money. I like to collect pottery. And how do we make pottery? Do you, do you know, boys and girls? You take, like, you take clay and you take water and you, you mold it and you turn it and they put it on this wheel that spins it around and around and around and it takes its shape that way, okay? So then if they mess up, then they can form it into another shape or they can start over. So that's what Jesus is saying is he not the potter and we are the clay. And we might think that we're supposed to be this lovely pitcher. That's what our understanding would tell us. But he knows what's best and he knows that we were created to be a bowl, even though our understanding at the time does not do that. And he has the perfect plan. And through him and his perfect plan, we shall have peace. And what kind of peace? The peace that passeth understanding when we surrender. Hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. Hope that made sense. Hope you enjoy your day off. I hope you go uh, like, give us a couple thumbs up on this. And if you have not, please subscribe because today's video is sponsored by the Miss America pageant. If you've just won Miss America, what would you like to accomplish? I would like to end world hunger and bring about world peace.